I got my boy Chris with me, man. And he went to the uh, CDL program. So what you think about the CDL program at Maverick? Man, it was great, man. Them folks going to let you drive, you know, teach you everything. And you going to drive a lot now. Like, you going to drive probably like one or two hours. You going to get a lot of experience that you don't get at a regular CDL school. And plus, you going to be uh, training on a flatbed instead of driving because, uh, you know, we're a flatbed company. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, you gonna learn how to uh, maneuver it because it maneuver different from a drive van, so that's good experience off the uh, jump. You mm -hmm. know, so that's the last time you got to spend in your trainer truck. Mm -hmm. But overall, it was it was a good experience, you know. Okay, so as I'm a new driver going over there, so what should I bring on the first day? Like, what what should I bring when I first go down there for the CDL program? Anything particular? You, I would say before you even, before you even come to uh, MDA, I would say go ahead and study for your permit test. Mm -hmm. Because you only got really, you, they said you got four days, but you only got really three days to like cram everything in there and study, so you can go get your permit test on that first Thursday. Oh, that first Thursday, so you get down on, on the Sunday, so, so you get down so you on the get there on Sunday. Uh huh. But you, class don't start the Monday, uh -huh. so that's really three days. Mm hmm. And that so test Thursday. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So I would download the app, and um, I would download the app, CDL app, and do the practice when you get there. So you already know some of the answers, mm -hmm. you know, because you if you feel it, if you feel your CDL permit test one time, I mean, on your CDL uh, road test and your skill test, you only got like, uh, I think two tries. Dang. Yeah, you only got two tries. Yep. Yeah. Right, Lisa, you know, you got to come up here. Make sure y'all come up yeah. here if y'all trying to get that, get y'all CDL, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But when you also, so Monday through Tuesday, uh, what, Monday, Tuesday. What's up, guys? Like Chris said, uh, you only get like three tries. So you got an opportunity to be the head of the game. I got the pre-trip videos and I got the skimming videos. So you can be ahead of the game. You got to know this uh, before you can pass and get in these new trucks, man. You got to you gotta know it, man. To get in these new trucks, you got to know the pre-trip and you got to know uh, the skimming video. I, I got the videos. If you want to be ahead of the game, email me, Instagram me. Uh, my cell phone number at the bottom, my Twitter number at the bottom of, uh, of the description. So you gotta know this stuff, man. You gotta know if you wanna pass. So who don't who don't wanna be ahead of the game, man? You wanna know this stuff, you go down there so the process be easy. You can be chilling while everybody else working, man. So I got the videos. If y'all want the pre trail want the security video, hit me up. All my information will be in the bottom of the description. Tuesday and Wednesday, what they just, they give you practices or they go over it, right? So, yeah, they go over it. So, uh, you can get a lot of homework. It's going to be like 150 uh, random CDO uh, permit uh, questions. It's the same questions on the app. You know, that's why I say go ahead and study on the app first. And then when you get here, you already know the answers. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, they gonna, you're going to do a whole bunch of stuff in class, go over uh, slides, uh, the permit test, and you're going to do probably like 10 pre-tests before you take your permit test. So you're going to be prepared before you take the real test. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and um, so Monday, Monday might be like general knowledge. Tuesday might be uh, combinations, and, and Wednesday might be breaks. You know. Mm -hmm. And then Thursday, they'll do a refresher on Thursday before you go over to uh, Little Rock and take your permit test. Oh, okay. So, so when you first get there, how much money they gonna give you? Oh, okay. This is good. So they gonna uh, give you a car for fifty dollars prepaid, right? Mm -hmm. They gonna give you a, a prepaid fifty dollar car. You can spend that on whatever you want. Mm -hmm. And then when you pass your permit test, they go. Well, hold on. Yeah, yo. Before they on that same Thursday, they gonna give you a five hundred and fifty dollar car to pay for your permit test and your uh, CDO license when you gotta take it. But it, it ain't gonna cost that much. It's probably gonna cost maybe a hundred or one hundred twenty five. So the rest of that money is yours. You can do whatever you want with it. Okay, okay. So really, really like six hundred dollars they gonna give you that first week. Mm hmm. Okay, that's good. So, so after you get done, after you pass your permit, so what about that second week? What you doing that second week? So that second week, you can go over like uh, like your logs, over what's the ELD logs and uh, how to do them and about road safety, about pad safety before you get on the pad, and then. Uh, second week you gonna do nothing but pre trip, straight line back, and that's about it for okay. your second week. 
Okay. So you go. So second week you gonna be across the street on the pad, and all you are gonna do is straight line back to go teach you how to back the truck up straight, mm. all the way back straight, mm-hmm. all the way in the cone. They gonna teach you how to get in and out the truck safely. Mm-hmm. They gonna teach you how to start the truck safely. They gonna teach you how to, uh, man, pre trip. They gonna teach you that's the number one thing, the pre trip. So how you feel about the pre trip? How you feel about the pre trip? It was real easy. Real easy. They pre trip real simple. Oh, okay. They, they make it real simple for you. Okay. But you gonna do it so much, it, it, it's it's gonna be a big old paper, a big ass paper. I'm talking about the paper gonna be big. Nothing but pre trip stuff on it. Mm-hmm. And you could be like, you could be like, man, I don't, I don't know if I can remember it, but I, I promise you by the end of that week, because you're going to do it so much, you're going to have it down. You can start seeing it in your head. You could be like, okay, not nah, bad, broke a crap, you know. So, but yeah, the first week, first week, it's going to be a lot, but it's going to go by fast. You see, it's man. Go by real fast. If I can do it, everybody can do it, man, because I ain't the smarter guy yeah. here, man. If I can do oh, it, yeah. if I can do it, y'all can do it, man. So everybody can pad. It's not hard, man. Like you said, the training good. They got great training. See, see the teachers, they were real good. They were real helpful with everything, yeah, right? All, all the instructors, all the instructors are real good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're real good. So yeah. what about that third week? So that third week, all you do is pretty much, um, you got to do like one offset. Mm-hmm. And, um, pretty much half the day, I just practice. Everybody practice on the ninety. Okay. Back practice the ninety. Then ha- on, on after lunch, so uh-huh. we go to lunch at eleven. Uh huh. So after lunch at about twelve o'clock, you can go on the road. Uh uh-huh. And it's different routes. You can go on a uh, city route, a uh, rural route, highway. Uh huh. They gonna uh, go to the gas, the uh, few, the few uh, loves a uh, uh, pilot. Uh uh-huh. They gonna teach you how to uh, fill up on a few. Yeah, there's um, a point right there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. And um, they gonna uh take you to uh, Little Rock and go on the city route, and you know you are gonna be in the city, mm-hmm. take learn how to take turns and, and tight places and stuff, and mm-hmm. and then uh half the week, I think uh I think on that Wednesday they gonna take you on night driving, so you gotta get up early. They gonna come get you from the hotel. You go hop in and you go do your uh, driving in the morning, mm. and then you gonna be on the pad in the afternoon. Okay, so it's. Yeah. It's the whole the whole day you working the whole day you working man. Yeah, the whole day. <laughs> they the give y'all day. repair, man. Yes, they make sir. that they make that good money, man. Y'all they give y'all repair oh, yeah. for everything. But it worked at the yes, end. Sir. Y'all just stick on it, stay on it, and stick to it. it gonna pay off at the end. So about that fourth oh, yeah. week, that fourth week you probably just testing out, or what? The fourth week, yeah, fourth week. They, you can either go to Little Rock to test out, or you gonna go to Harrison. I want to Harrison. Uh huh. So if you go to Harrison, you good, man. The man in Harrison. He's great. He, he let you take your time and he laid back. You know, I had a good time at Harrison, man. Cause uh-huh. you know you be nervous because you don't want to feel it. Uh-huh. But, but the man, he was real cool, man. He real laid back. You know, he be like, take your time, go ahead, do your straight line back, do your offset, uh-huh. then do your ninety, and then go on the road. The road test so easy, man. And then you gonna be a so excited when you pass it. Uh-huh. You know. But man, pretty much, it's it's harder to do it on the pad than it is. On the uh, CDL test, so when you get to go take your CDL test, you gonna be like, man, this is easy. Mm. Like, you gonna knock it out quick. Knock it out quick. Yeah. Dang. Oh yeah. That's good. So what you think oh, about yeah. the Little Rock then? I, I didn't test the Little Rock. Oh, okay. I, I tested the Harrison. Okay. I okay. tested Harrison. Okay. See, okay. they got three places. They got uh, Little Rock. You can test that Harrison, and then uh, I think it was A ASU. You can test that. Oh, okay. What what ASU? Yeah. What what is that? So ASU, I think that's what. Uh, so if you, so before you come to Maverick, mm-hmm. they give you a choice if you want an automatic restriction on your license, or uh, you don't have to go to the Maverick school now. This is what they don't tell you. You can go uh, to a community college and stay over there and get get your manual, and they'll get the automatic restriction on your license. Mm-hmm. And um, basically, they teach you how to drive a manual truck, mm-hmm. and um, that would be that would be over there at ASU. Oh, okay, but yeah, yeah. That's... Yeah, so half your classmates, half your class, when you start with your permit test on that first week, y'all, when y'all go to the second week, half the class gonna split. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all gonna go to some Ma- get trained by Maverick on the uh, automatic flatbed trucks, and then half of y'all gonna go to ASU, and y'all gonna be on automatic, uh, I mean, manual trucks and uh, dry van trucks. Mm-hmm. Dry, they got dry vans over there. Mm-hmm. So it's a real different, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So yeah, pretty yes, much sir. y'all can get y'all manual license too at Maverick. Also, 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you gotta good. ask. You gotta ask for it when you call. I didn't yeah. know that. Oh. So you would you would've, you would've I did, did that. that. I tried to change. Huh? You would've did that too, man, if you would've, if you would've known. Yeah, I would have yeah, I would have did it in a heartbeat. I know that right. I sure got an automatic restriction. I just got automatic on my license, so I gotta get that I gotta get the man on my license soon. I gotta get that. Like it says you gotta go to a community college. That's what we're gonna have to do. Yep. So so clothes work. So how much clothes you think you should bring, you know, you free go down with clothes wise? So when you uh when your recruiter gets you, either they're gonna send you a, a bus ticket or an airplane or you come as a car, and on the little list, it's going to tell you. It's going to say, Pat Light. Man, don't Pat Light, man. Bring <laughs> as much clothes as you want. I'm telling you. Because a lot of people Pat Light now, and they be like, man, I got to do laundry again today. And they only they gotta do laundry every two or three days. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's ridiculous. Yeah. So I, 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 I got lucky. I had pack all my clothes, and come to find out, like, Maverick, they got laundry right there on campus, and then when you stay in your hotel, they got laundry in there, too. Mm -hmm. oh, you know what okay. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, they do, would, they do. Uh huh. They'll save the time because you gonna you gonna want to study, you know. And when you after a long day of uh, uh, training stuff, you don't want to do laundry, man. You want to eat. You want to watch TV. Yeah. You just want to chill out, man. Talk you to know? your girl, whatever you want to do, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know. Yeah. I'm trying to see what else it probably. What else you think they probably should want to know? Like anything else you think they should pretty much know? What you think? And I know y'all need to be on time too. Be on time for everything. They'll yeah, see you home. Be on time. Yeah, be on time, and they'll see you home, man. They don't play. Yeah, they'll see you home in the equipment. <laughs> I, I see, I see two people go home because they wasn't on time. Always late. Yeah. They'll see you home in equipment, and you still got to pay that money back. You know what I'm saying? So, Ooh, they ain't no. You that. come in, this ain't no. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Y'all need to come yeah. in and be early. Be early as possible, yes, man. Be ten minutes early, just. Just do your job, man. You it's, it's gonna pay yeah. off in the long run. See my guy Chris, he, he finna get it. He got he testing out tomorrow. He finna get his own yep. truck. Well, you finna be USA, right? Yes, sir. USA yeah, Blackbird. So he making that big money, man. He gonna make that big money. He making more than me. Oh, yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> he gonna make more than me, so. But yeah, man, he you know, he went through the program, man, and it paid off for him though. It paid off for oh, him. Oh yeah. And I think yeah, about I would do it again in a heartbeat. Yeah. I would do it again in a heartbeat. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. That's a good program, man. Some good good instructors over there. Even in Securement. Securement had good instructors and everything. Mm. You know? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think what else. So maybe so after that, it's that Securement training, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, Securement yeah. training. Yeah, that's pretty much after that, y'all, that's pretty much. Securement training just, you know, securing the loads and stuff like that. But yeah, man, it just after that you get on your training truck. But it's a minimum of 21 yes, day. Yeah, minimum of 21 day, right? I remember. Minimum uh, no, 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 not 21, not, not no more. It's uh, 14. Yeah, 14. Yeah, 14. Oh, 14 shoot. days. Oh, yeah, that's that's even so better. It's like, about like two weeks. Oh, yeah, that's even better. Yeah. That's even you be better. in, you be out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And this, you out. Man, look, man, this, I'm telling y'all, man, it worked it, man. Maverick got some yeah, great trucks, great equipment, that he know. So, I mean, he's yeah. doing the training, so it worked it. Yeah, y'all just. Stay with it. Don't dis don't don't dis don't don't be scared, man. I mean, I know you're nervous yeah. cause your first time driving a truck, but just pay attention. They're gonna get you right. They're gonna set you up with the right trainers. So when you get out there, you're gonna know what to do. Before you get out there, you still gonna know what to do. It just it's just gonna you're gonna keep practicing, get better and better with tarping with everything. Yep. So, yeah, though, yep. man. My boy Chris, man, he gonna pass it. He's gonna be doing good. Hopefully yes, we'll, we'll meet each other one day on the road. I don't know where yeah, you probably won't meet up. Maybe somewhere in Georgia. I don't know, but because he's yeah. from Georgia, I'm from Tuscaloosa. But yeah, though, man, okay. that's pretty much it though for the the CDL program. But yeah, yeah. Uh, and my boy Chris. But yeah, y'all just stay tuned for the the next video. What what what's another video you think we should do together, man? Man. Shit, we gotta do a part two. Part two or something, man. Part two, truck, or something. part two or something, man. Yeah. But that pretty much it, man. That pretty much it for this video right here. But y'all stay, y'all stay tuned, and we gonna we gonna find something we can do yeah. together. That's man, y'all can do it, man. If yeah. I can do it, I can do it. I, was, I ain't gonna lie. I was scared to leave home. I was scared to leave my job. I ain't gonna lie. My <laughs> job was comfortable. I had to do a sit down in a little factory. Yeah. You know, make a little five hundred, six hundred dollars a week. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, but. Man, scare money, you know, 
you got to make that money, man. Yeah. Scam money don't make no money. I know they're right. <laughs> you know, I yeah. had to take the, you got to take the leap. I'm telling you, take the leap of faith, man. Come to Maverick. You know what I'm saying? They're going to take them good, the good people over there. They're going to take care of you, man. Yeah, they are, they man. Take care of you, man. They are, they are, they are. Yeah, I was. I know. I, I know. I had to leave my job, man. I wasn't getting paid nothing, man. So I just know. Marry the way, man. Marry the way. But oh, man, yeah. we gonna end it on this one, man. Oh yeah, for sure. All right, though, Chris, man. Good speaking to you, though, bro. All right, big dog. All right, man. All right, for sure. All right.